Hi, I'm Mira. Welcome to Foil with Mira. We have a straightforward intermediate Pilates class. So let's get started. We're going to start the class with a standing roll down. So just stand on your mat or on the ground. And I'm going to stand facing the side here. Standing nice and tall, just look down for a moment. I want your heel to be in line with your sitting bone. Now, nice and tall with the spine opening across the front of the chest. In breath here. As we exhale, we're going to nod the head down and we're going to gradually roll the spine down. I like to soften my knees as I go down so I can get a deepest flexion in my lower spine. And then I'm gonna go ahead and tip my pelvis forward, bring my body closer to my legs, whatever is available for you today. Just listen to your body. Inhale at the bottom, just check your feet, they are parallel, meaning your toes are pointing forward. And then as you exhale, I'd like you to lift the arch of your feet towards your legs and start curling your tailbone under. And then we're going to bring the pelvis upright first and then the lower spine stacked up, middle spine, upper spine, the shoulders, neck, and the head will rest on the neck. Again, two more times in breath. Exhale, knotting the head down and continuing to roll the spine down, vertebra by vertebra. Really try to get the deepest flexion by lifting the abdominal wall into a spine and then you tip the pelvis forward, bringing the body closer towards the legs here. Inhale at the bottom. And as we exhale, lifting the arch of your feet and to the legs and then curling your tail under, stacking up just Take a moment, take, take a time to really articulate the spine down. Such a delicious moment in breath. Again, exhale, roll down. I tell you what, I can do this the whole day. Shall we just do roll down for the whole class? No, we shouldn't. Don't. We're just gonna do one more time after this because I am enjoying this roll down. And right up to the bottom in breath. And exhale, we roll back up again. Can we pick up? vertebra by vertebra and stack it up one on top of the other as we come up. Think about the Jenga, think about Lego stock, Lego blocks, in breath. One last one, I promise. Roll it down, take yourself all the way down, lifting up in your center, lifting up an abdominal wall as you bring the upper body and the middle body and tip the whole body forward. Now stay down here. Fingers onto the floor, maybe bend the knees a little bit more if you need to, lengthening the spine here. And then a little prancing with the legs. So we're gonna bend the right knee, keep the left leg extended, straight, and really try to sink into the pelvis and then straighten both legs. And then onto the other leg, bending and straighten the opposite and lifting up and just folding and extending the other leg and reach. And then bending one knee, keep the other one extended and reach. And just keep changing the leg here and just breathe naturally. You can really sink into the pelvis, into the hip, so you can get a deeper stretch. And then we sit as we bend, we sit as we bend. One more each side, feeling the stretch on the outer leg of the, the outer side of the leg, and let's straighten both legs and let's flop the body down just a little bit more here, bending the knees and roll the spine up, 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 and lifting up nice and tall. Okay, I'm ready to move on. So let's go to the front of the mat, have a sit. And bend the knees. Again, your feet are in parallel position. Your toes are reaching forward. Your knees are pointing upward, perching on your sit bone so your spine is nice and tall here. Arms are forward. I wanted to energize the arms here, meaning they're not sort of floppy down, but really try to reach out to your fingertips. Allow the shoulders to rest down into the armpit cavity there. And then from here, a little dragging of the feet towards the sit bone so you can activate the back of the leg. Into a C curve, we round the spine. When I say the spine, from the tailbone to the crown of the head, the whole spine goes into flexion, into a C curve. And then we curl the tail under. We take ourselves down towards the floor. 
Hopefully the sacrum can touch the floor and the lumbar spine can touch the floor. Then in breath here, exhale, energize the back of your thighs. Arms are reaching and pull yourself up, over, forward. Lifting the back, open the knees, open the arms, expand the chest and close them back again. Pull in with the legs, pull in in the center into a C-curve and then send the tailbone underneath you so you can curl the sacrum down to the floor, lower back on the floor, in breath here. Exhale, I really feel like my heels are pulling into my hip as I come up over, even though they're not moving and then rounding over the pelvis, lifting the back, opening arms, opening the chest, and closing again, rounding forward, rolling back, curling in, print the sacrum down, print the lower back down, inhale, keep the chest nice and open, exhale, coming up and over, lifting the spine, opening the arms, opening the knees, expanding the chest, and Again, now this time we're going to pause, roll down, pause halfway, 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 sacrum on the floor, low back off the floor. If we can, keep that deep scoop. All right, lift the right leg up, Ooh, tremble, and then lower down, same thing, right leg up, and down. Three more, really right up. So I want you to load your abdominal into the spine as you lift the leg up. up. One more. Lift and down, come up, over, forward again. Open the chest, open the knees, open the arms, extend the back and forward with the arm. Rounding the back, pull the leg into your hips and rolling just to the sacrum. Right then, load the belly, lift and down, lift and down. Oh, I'm falling off, lift and down. Two more. That's quite challenging. Last one. Okay, and rounding yourself over, opening the chest, lifting the back, and closing again. Now extend the left leg forward. Right from here, we're going to do something rolling back again. So we're going to curl back. Now, this time, as you roll back, I want you to bring the right leg with you to a single leg stretch position. You can rest your lower back down here and then we're gonna curl up again and the leg will come with you into a C curve and then lifting the back. All right, so we go into a C curve. So my right heel is off the floor in a plantar flex position here and I'm gonna roll back. As I roll back, the leg comes with me to a single leg stretch position and then curl forward, the leg go with me and then I'll lift my back up. One more, rounding the back, curling back, bringing the leg with me into a gorgeous single leg stretch position. And then rounding up and over forward and lifting the back and extend the right leg, bring the left one in, heel is up. And again, rounding the back and rolling back, bringing the leg with you to a single leg stretch and then curling forward and then lifting the back and rounding the back and rolling back. Single leg stretch in breath and come forward and then lifting up. And the last one, C curve, roll back, roll back, single leg stretch position and come up over. Lifting up tall, stretch both legs long, roll up position. So we are going to reverse, we're going to start from sitting position. So we're going to lift the upper back up and over, pull the belly into the spine, reach the leg forward, then we're going to roll back. I want to do pull the leg towards the center so we can imprint the lower back down onto the floor. Then arms go with you. Again, inhale, arms up. Float the head and the chest up, arms by the side, make it nice and neat. Make sure your legs are in line and together and come up and over. Pull back in abdominal, up and over in the spine. In breath here, exhale, drawing the legs into your belly button so the belly button can imprint the lower back on the floor and then the, take the arms overhead again. Arms up, chest lift 
and come up and over, pull back in the abs, up and over in the spine, in breath, exhale, rolling back, rolling back, rolling back, arm overhead and lifting up and rounding up and over. The next one, we're going to transition ourselves to the wonderful hundreds. So we roll back, roll back to the chest lift position. All right, palms down, one leg in, second leg in, one leg up, second leg up, lift the chest higher, shoot the legs forward, inhaling, and we go. Take care that you're not flapping your arms up and down this way. So the pumping happens from the armpit girdle here. I'm reaching my fingertips forward over to the other side of the mat and the room. My legs are also nice and long. You can adjust the leg. You can bring the legs higher if you wish to. And you can make a challenge for today. Bring it lower if you can hold on to your center tightly. And I definitely lost my count. So let's go exhale five. And in breath. And exhale, I'm trying to really load my belly into my spine and reach my feet away from my pelvis. And one more. And in breath. And hold, dragging the knees in, drag, 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 tabletop. Open the arms to a T position, lower the chest down, palms up. <sighs> spine twist to pine. All right, we managed. All right, we rotate towards me, please. And then exhale, center. From the waistline, we bring the pelvis and the legs together to the other side, anchor the opposite shoulder. Exhale, again, in breath. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, and in breath. Exhale, let's do one more set. Inhale, we rotate. Exhale, we gather the center, bring everything back to the middle. Last one, really try to get the shoulder blades down. Please control your twist. Don't lose the leg down there. And all right, lifting the head and the chest up, grab the shin. Bend the elbow, you may drop the feet a little bit more, curl the chest higher, rock ourselves up. Wah. Rolling like a ball. Okay, hands a little lower, closer to the ankles, balancing on the tailbone. Now from here, elbows wide, look down. We roll back, press the leg in as you roll back and bring your body up and over. In breath, exhale. And in breath, squeezing the inner thighs nice and tight. In breath, exhale. Three more here. Exhale, make it rolling like a ball, nice and smooth. Last one, curl the tail up and ta-da. Straighten the legs forward. Spread them shoulder width apart, ready for our spine stretch here. Now dorsiflex the feet, really try to think about pulling the heels towards the pelvis and lifting the spine up. Obviously, if you're feeling tight today and you can't straighten the back, go ahead and bend the knee to adjust the spine so you can sit nice and tall. The spine is your priority, all right? The, sec the legs will just have to adjust according to your spinal ability today. Let's take the arms forward. Okay, take an in-breath. Exhale, like we did at the start of the class, we roll the spine down gradually towards the floor and forward, and then the pelvis will tip forward at the end. In breath, feeling the spine lengthening, staying in flexion though. Exhale, from the tailbone, we stack everything up, everything up, everything up to a beautiful straight line. Again, exhale, we roll down, roll down and forward. Inhale, exhale. And left, in breath, exhale, we roll down and forward, in breath, exhale, we roll back and upward, one more, exhale, we roll down 
and forward in breath. We roll up and up tall, opening the arms up to the T position, ready for the saw. Plunge the sitting bone down from me, please. We rotate from the waist towards me. We move one arm forward, one arm back. We lean forward, we saw the outside of the little pinky, the back is nice and long, and lift the spine up back, arm comes to the side, open the arms back to the center, rotate to the other side, move the arms, and we're just gonna lean forward here, so to the outside of the little pinky here, and then rotate the back arm to the side, open, center, a little faster, twist, arm, and so, and up, open and center, Twist, arm um, and so, and up. Open and center, two more side twists. Arm um, and so, and up. Open and center, twist, arm um, and so, and up. Open, let's do one more time. I'm enjoying this, so arm um, and so. And back onto the side, open and center. Last one, twist, arm um, and so, and up. Open and center, bring it down, close the legs, turn towards the side for our side lift. Stack the legs together, bottom arm is long. Let's take the top arm here. If you need extra support today, go ahead and place the top hand here. Otherwise, let's join me here. We need to activate the underneath waistline, tie your legs together. Now from here, we're gonna float the legs and continue lifting up, lengthening the bottom waist down and lower. Again, exhale, in breath. And see if you can have your heel in line with the sit bone and making sure your pelvis is not being thrown backward or too much forward. Two more and lift. And last one, and now we're gonna hold on the balance, take the top arm overhead, spread the leg, little walking, like a Caesar's parallel. Got three, two, one, together, and lower, release the arm. Bend the knees, help yourself up, and let's go over to the other side. Stack the legs together. Top arm by the side, lifting the underneath side, and we go. And lower. Again, lift. And lower. Making sure the top oblique is drawing in towards the rib cage, lift the leg up and lengthen the bottom down. And the abdominal wall is drawing deep towards the spine. Two more. Last one, stay balanced, top up over and spread the leg, little walking or scissors. You can do it slowly or faster, depending how you feel today. Find your balance. It's not about how fast we go, it's about the control we can make this movement. We've got three, two, one. Bring them together, squeeze them tight and lower. Okay, turning onto our belly for some back extension move here. Legs are together, arms long by the side. Then we glide the shoulder blades down. We lift the upper back, middle back up, reaching the legs away, sending the sitting bone towards the feet, and we lower the chest down. Again, we inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower. Two more here. Inhale, we lift. Exhale, we lower. Last one, we stay in the extension hold. Float the arms to a T position, float the arms forward by the side of the ears, open to the T position, bring it back down. Again, in breath, and forward, and back, and down, and forward, and one more. 
in breath. Try not to drop the chest down as you move the arm and lower the chest down. Bend the elbows, hands on the side of your ribs. Push off the floor. Quick rest position. Tuck the toes under. Lift the pelvis up to the upstretch position here. All right, we're going to plant the hands down, push the floor away and send the sitting bone up. Rotate the armpit towards each other and to the floor, lower the heel so we can feel the stretch in the back of the leg here, keeping the spine nice and engaged here. The back muscles working nice and straight. Lift the heels up again and lower the heels. Neck is long and lift the heels up. One more, lower the heels and lift the heels up, stay. We bend the knees. So we're kind of hovering the knees off the floor here and then we shoot the pelvis up, we lower the heels. We bend, lift the heels up, we bend the knees. We shoot the pelvis up, lower the heels. One more, we lift the heels, we bend the knees. We shoot the pelvis up, we lower the heels. Now the next one, we lift the heels. We bend the knees and we stay. We look forward to our hands. We're gonna jump the feet two between the hands in a count of three. Three, two, and one. Jump forward, sit down, feet forward, and parallel position. Round back, roll back, roll back, roll back. We take ourselves all the way down to the floor and walk your feet closer to its pelvis, ready for some pelvic curl. So align the heels to your sit bone, please. All right, open chest here. Drag the feet down and to your pelvis. Breath out, curling up to the bridging position. Pressing the arms down. We can push the chest a little higher with a connected rib cage. Rolling back down for me, please. Okay, let's do one more time. We're gonna stay up there for our shoulder bridge prep and shoulder bridge. We curl it up again. Roll it up, roll it up, roll it up. Press the left foot down, lift the left hip up, take the right leg up to table top. Then we lower the leg down, just tapping. Lift it up, balance the pelvis and lower. Try to be aware what your pelvis is doing as you lower and lift the leg up. Two more. Last one. Take it up, take it down, press the feet, lift the hips up, press the right foot down, the left, the right bottom stays up, left leg up to table top and lower. We'll lift from the hip joint, we lower the leg. Lift, lower, lift, lower, lift. Two more, lower, lift, last one. Lift, take the foot down, reestablish the pelvis position, and then we melt the spine down gradually back to our start position. And we're gonna go up again for our shoulder bridge. Roll it up again, up to the highest bridge position. Engage those arms, press the left foot down, left hip up, take the right leg straight up to the sky. And we go, flex up, kick up, balance the pelvis and down, up, exhale, up, exhale. One more exhale, we stay, we point, lift up a little higher here, bend the knee, take the foot down gracefully, readjust the pelvis, right foot down, lift the right hip up, left leg straight up to the sky. And we go, exhale, kick up, exhale. And as you lower the leg, try not to drop the pelvis. Stay high. Two more. Last one. And up and point, lift it higher. Bend the knee, take the foot down. Again, reestablish the pelvis position. And then we're gonna roll the spine down. Down, down. Brilliant, okay, more. Leg up to tabletop. Second leg up to table, just squeeze them together. Interlacing the hands behind the head, please. Elbows off the floor, spread the shoulder blades apart, rotate the armpits slightly forward here. Into a chest lift, 
we know the chest lift, right? We're gonna lift the upper chest up and over. Now, what we're gonna do here, we're gonna bring the knee closer to your forehead, lift the pelvis up, Lose that. use that lower abs. Back to tabletop, lower the chest down. Again, exhale. In breath, hold. Exhale, curl the table like as if you're doing a rollover, which we're gonna do after this. And back to tabletop. And come on down. Again, exhale. Curl the tailbone up, bring the knees towards you. And back. And lower the chest down. Two more. And up. In breath, hold. Exhale, curl the tail. Curl the tail, lift the pelvis up. Make sure you do not throw the leg to your face. And last one. So I like you to keep the angle of the knee constant. Curl, curl the tail, curl the tail, curl the tail. Wow, lots of effort there. All right, more to come. Chest a bit rotation, lift the head and chest up. Grab the back of the thigh. A tad higher, please. Okay, return the arms back behind your head. Rotate to me. Middle. Other side, middle, ideally this leg should stay nice and stable. We are just rotating the upper body from the waistline. Exhale, exhale, two more sets. Last set, last one, center, return. Arms long by the side, roll. Over, straighten the legs forward, up to the sky vertical. Curl the tail under like we did before. Roll the legs over your face. Dorsiflex the feet. Separate the legs shoulder width apart and lower the feet down. Roll the spine back. Gradually anchor the bottom down. Then we can point the feet and gracefully reach the leg away and together. Up to a vertical alignment. Curl the tail under and up. Not under, up and over. And then dorsiflex. Separate then and lower the legs from the hip joint. And then we are going to keep those arms active as we roll the spine down. Control, control, control. We point, we reach, we get together. And up. And over, over, over. We flex, we separate, we lower. We roll down, bottom anchored, point of feet, reach the legs away and together. Last one, please, up, roll over. We flex, we separate, we lower, and we roll down, we roll down, we roll down, we point, reach out, together, we bend the knees, lower one foot, second foot, turn your body face me, onto your elbow for our side kick. Okay, let's go. Lift the underneath ribs and top hand here. Top leg up, dorsiflex, we go. Inhale, reach, reach, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Minimize the rocking of the trunk as you bring the leg forward and back. And. Two more sets. Last set. Stay back, hold. We tap. We bring it up. We tap forward. We bring it up. We tap back. And we bring it up. We tap forward. We stay strong underneath here. We do not sink down to the floor. We're going to lift out of the gravity and lift. Defy gravity here for me. And one more set. And, and back. Then together. Bend the knees, help yourself up. Quick side stretch. Release, other side. Onto the elbow, legs are straight. Lifting the underneath ribs and the waist. Long legs, open heart, open chest. Here we go, flex. Inhale, exhale. If you're feeling heavy in the shoulder, most likely that you're not lifting the underneath side. So pull up. And two more sets. Last set. Stay whole. We tap. We lift and lower. We lift and back. 
up and over. Rainbow legs back, rainbow legs forward, and one more set left. Last one, we go back, legs together, and we bend the knees, help ourselves up, reach up, side bend over to your right. Okay, coming up. All right, onto our front again, we've got double leg kick and rocking prep. We have the legs together and interlace the hands behind you. Elbows can just flop down to the side here. Turn your head facing me here. Now lengthening the lower spine away by picking up the abdominal. Reach the legs off the floor without disturbing the lower spine. We bend the knee. Three kicks. One. Keep the belly lifted. And three. Extend the legs. Reach up. Arms off your bottom. Head over to the other side, and I am not straight. <laughs> Here we go. Kick, two, three. Inhale, reach, long legs, long neck. Head over to me, please. We go, two, three. Inhale, reach. And other side, two, three. Inhale, reach. And turn around. Two, three, inhale, reach. And last one here. Two, three, and we pause here. Let go of the hands. Bend the knees, grab the ankles, and lower the chest down for our rocking prep. Send the pubic bone down to the floor, lifting your abs, curling the head and the chest up, and lifting the thighs up, knees up, everything up and release back to the floor. Again, tailbone down to the floor, pubic bone to the floor, that is. And then lifting the head and the chest up, and thighs up, pull the legs up, extend, and come on down. Two more time. We go, in breath, articulate up, reaching up, pressing up, legs up, up, and come on down. And last one, in breath, up, thighs up, chest up, everything up, and back. Well done. Release the legs behind you, forearm to the side of your ribs, push the floor away around your back, sit the pelvis down, and we breathe. You can rock your body left and right here. You can rock the pelvis while you breathe in this rest position. One more breath. And exhale. Alrighty, tuck the toes under, please. Right, bring your hands closer towards the knees and push off the floor. Go upside down, make sure your feet are in beautiful parallel position. All the toes are pointing the same direction and just flop the body down for a moment. Make sure that we are not half extending the knee, meaning pushing the knee backward. All right, we roll up, please. We're gonna curl the tail under. We're gonna lift up our center. And then stacking up the spinal column, like a Jenga block. And ra, nice and tall. We're right. Let's do one more roll down. Take an in breath. Exhale. Particularly down, down. Down. Again, checking that you're not happy extending the knees. So softening the back of the knees and pulling up your cordyceps, the muscles in front of your thighs. Inhale at the bottom. Exhale, rolling up again, please. And curl the tail under like a Jenga block again. We stuck up the spinal column all the way. Nice and tall. We grow taller, taller, and taller. And you are done, my friend. Thank you for moving with me today. You were wonderful. I'd like to see you back on the mat tomorrow for another class with me. So I will see you then and have a lovely, lovely day. Take care. Well done on completing this class, your star. 
I'm Mira and I'm here to help you to love, look and feel your absolute best through Pilates. If you enjoyed this video, you will love my free 6 day intermediate challenge. Click the first link in the comments and join us in getting fit, strong and feel energized with a calendar of new intermediate Pilates videos. This 6 day challenge is taken from my 28 days intermediate Pilates program. If you would like to join the full 28 days, you'll find a link to my Flow with Mirror online membership in the description. See you in the next class.